Hey guys, it's Coach Banks, Thank for USA. I'm here with my understudy, longtime good friend, Coach Dale Rossi, Jiu Jitsu World Champion, and they'll be forever. We're down at the Snake for USA World Headquarters in Hamilton, New Jersey. Um, thanks for joining us. We get a lot of requests for some really cool videos, and I just wanted to give you guys a couple of cool things to work on and play with. Um, I don't want to do anything too flashy, but some fun stuff that you can definitely hit uh, in tournaments or rolling with the guys, or even in self defense type situation where we're fighting off our back, confident off our back, not comfortable on our back. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, I have control of my legs, but I'm using a guard right now, which is great, perfect for jiu-jitsu. I love jiu-jitsu. But I want to switch to my catch wrestling now for this video. To do so, I'm going to get two different points of control before I open and switch to my body scissor. So I'm going to go thumb pad. When I say thumb pad, I'm literally grabbing his pad with at least three points of contact. I'm going down to the paint, down below the wrist, and then one, two, three minimum on the thumb pad. And I don't try to do this nonsense. Nobody's giving me that. Like, they don't fight me. Nobody's giving you that on earth. It's just, I don't have leverage, it doesn't matter how strong I am. But if I have the thumb pad and I keep it pasted to me, I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna pull my knees up, go above his ear, pull his head off to the side. Now, the coach tries to sit up. It's tough now, because I'm strong here, I'm weak here. If he pulls back now, that's not, he'll, he'll pummel his head out, there's nothing I can do. So I have this, I open. When I turn, I don't hip out like I would jujitsu. I'm gonna turn my body cylindric. Like, like a rolling, like a big pillar. And keeping my hips as close, my, literally my left buttock as close as I can to his right knee when I move on this. So when I move, I'm pulling in like a hamstring curl with this leg and getting tight. And then I open my body this way and pass the head and I can sit up straight towards where you guys are at the camera. And I'm trying to trap this elbow between my quadricep and here. So when I sit up, I come up, I'm pulling the head and the elbow goes in. If I can lock this, that's great. Because I have a wrist lock one, he's tapping on that side. I have push my quad up, I can do it. Another one I like really neat is the top wrist lock from here. I can push here, hold, and just drive the hand what? Out, here, or double, and come out on the side. If I go to the double wrist lock, I'm gonna go over what? Always the shoulder, not the tricep. So I'm gonna go really deep in here and keep this. This gives me control, controlling the pad and keeping it pasted to me. So I dig under tight with my fist all the way through. Now watch my hands as we transition. Roll over, nice and smooth. I have to have positive control the whole way through that transition. When I roll, I'm pulling the elbow away towards you guys so he can't hide it in to do his S grip escape. And I up transition the same way you wouldn't just to the finish until the end, it's gonna be a little different. So when I rotate out, I'm pulling his elbow out, putting that leg just where the Jiu Jitsu belt will be. I wanna get perpendicular. When I get here, I'm not just doing the typical thing where I rotate this elbow down. That's nice. I want to put his fist in his armpit, and I'm going to pull his elbow that way where I'm looking, and I'm driving this leg away. Watch. I will not rotate his arm at all. I'm going to pull, and I'm going to push away. Pull and push away because I'm pulling the actual joint out. I'm pulling the ball socket right out to tear that shoulder up. By then, if you had to, if they're not tapping, you start ripping over, everything's gonna start popping, and you're gonna get that nice elbow pop first before the shoulder, okay? So keep going, we're gonna go th flow through this and keep going, so stay with me. Now, scenario two, I get the wrist, I get the thumb pad, I pull up with my knees, I open to go to my body scissor. If my right foot is on the bottom, this is key to your body scissor. If my right foot is on the bottom, that's the side that I turn to. So we wanna be over here. So I turn to this side again, I'm gonna do what? Exact same setup. But the key to the body scissors is what? Just quick review, I'm not gonna try and hurt coach, but I'm trying to get 45 degrees of my knees. You see the angle. The bone on the inside of my knee, I wanna find that floating rib. That's not bone, this is. This is cartilage. The floating ribs are cartilage. That's why we can scissor through and create so much pain. It also gives me a great angle to work with for arm drags, whizzers, underhooks for throw bys and things like that where I can actually wrestle from here. So with having this position, finding that, and then getting high, I can squeeze here. And if you watch, just make a look there. <laughs> you see, Coach, you okay, buddy? I'm good. It, it's like, I'm not trying, I'm not gonna hurt him. <laughs> but he can do the same thing to me, trust me. So being here, guys, I wanna just, when you do it, you know, be careful because those will pop so easy. If you guys have ever done any, a lot of gut wrenches and stuff, or wrestled international level, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a heel hook. There's pressure in there, pop, and that's it. So I'm on that thumb pad. I pull down. I pull to the side. I open. I turn. But I'm trying to what? Just keep my butt as close to him as possible. I don't want to hip out. I want to stay close where my butt on this side. This buttock, my left buttock, is close to his right knee. So our hips are very close together. So. When I go over, kind of like when, when, I, when I go into like a hip heist, or you know, when our, our hips, our hip bump, it's really not a hip heist, hip heist is 180 degrees. 
Well, when I move into that position off that body lock, I'm gonna keep it and then we get to the German pin on this one. So when I pull, I go what? I wanna open now, I open my body because I wanna go this way. If I try to drive straight up towards over this direction, coach just drive into me, no way. Now, if I open this way, coach drive into me, I can sit right up because I'm sitting past him. This stays locked tight, got it? The wrist stays compromised. Your fastest submission here is gonna be blocking with the leg, coming across and driving the hand out with the top wrist yeah. lock right there. Okay, you okay, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Keep it, punch under, oh, it's gotta be around the shoulder. Don't go over the tricep, it's gonna be trash. Come over as tight as you can into the armpit to ensure that your bicep goes over the shoulder for a true double wrist lock. And watch how my hands roll through this. I come over, wrap, and watch. Thumb moves first, thumb, and collapse, pushing through. It rolls naturally into it. Full thumb and full thumb. I'm not wearing a gi, I have no reason to not be using my opposable thumbs. This time he body locks. He's able to get his hand together. Don't let go of your grip. I'm gonna to go to my hip bumps. You're gonna to wanna to move over this way so you can see where I'm going to my German pin. All the way on this side behind me. I'm gonna drop this leg down. This leg's gonna fire. I hip bump. I'm gonna look though. I'm gonna look straight up behind me, 90 degrees. Fire my hip up. It's not gonna be pretty. Why? Because my arm, my elbow's not really in the greatest place. And I don't wanna stay here long because there's a lot of counters he can do to me. So I pop up over, bridge to the last, and stay here. I still have the grip. Now watch, we switch to the German pin here. This is important, so stay nice and low, and you're gonna want to be right there at that angle. So when I put my head down, my right foot swings, one, and I go pull up on the shoulder, and I go two. Everybody wants to roll up and pull the head right now, you don't have to. This is the actual German pin right here. I take my wrist, and I simply roll it, and I'm getting my tap right there. That is your authentic German pin. This is really neat. Now I'm gonna to switch to my leg scissor choke from here. Watch my right leg, my right leg as I transition. So I move my head out of the way and I'm gonna roll right shoulder down, kicking the head, my right leg starts moving towards his face. I come across around the neck, doesn't matter which foot's on top, squeeze, scissor through for the choke, he's tapping, roll the double wrist lock and we're all done. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you soon at some of our camps. If you're in South Jersey, come on down to Snake PSA, Machado Jiu Jitsu and we'll see you soon, take care.